So we have two options. We park down there and we jog up here and leave our sleds here. Hiking? Yeah, hi no, jog. jog. Trail jog. running. <laughs> or we shovel out the road bank and drive up there. Either option is like great for me because I like starting the day with some exercise. Or we park on the highway and hope that log trucks don't hit us. They don't favor when we park on the highway. No, I don't think they'd like that. So we opted to drive back on the highway a couple miles and park at a big parking area and then ride the edge of the road. Normally, mid-season, super easy to just hug the side of the highway and get back to that road that we were just at. But right now it's pretty melted out, so we'll probably be riding some asphalt, um, but whatever. Not a big deal. Sometimes that's the price you pay to get fresh tracks into a zone. Let's go forward in here. Oh, 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 oh. A special delivery? Oh, yeah. Thank you. How many you want? Oh, yeah. I could I could use like two or three of these today. Oh, yeah. Load up. Oh, God. Thank you. I have really cool friends. A little bit of highway to ride, and then we'll head up a forest service road that goes up and around. Way smaller crew today. We have Matt. It's been Everyone. Awesome to be a crew this size. Yeah, tiny crew. Matt, Andreas, myself, and Ty Dorshers. Is that how you say it? Dorshers? Darosh. 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 Well, I can never get it right. However, you say it. Ty. The Ripper Ty. Yeah. You getting ready for some flips? No. <laughs> it's the last day. We're not going to do anything cool. <laughs> <laughs> tree riding day? Tree riding, easy tree riding, just like. Yeah, mellow, around. mellow tree riding day. Yeah. You're not gonna, Matt was not gonna fool me to doing something stupid again. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't end up too well the last day. No. What did you convince him to I do? Didn't, I didn't say anything. I'm just like, hey, uh, I think that'd be cool. It was his idea to do this. The way he looked at me and like smiled, like, <laughs> I like, well, fuck, I, I need to do it. <laughs> Felt obligated to. Yeah, but he I, did I, the I, same thing to me yesterday. <laughs> He's like, you better pull that 175 line on your 146. And then I went and weeded my shit <laughs> into a tree. I would have been really impressed if you pulled that line. Yeah, but I wouldn't have tried it if you didn't egg me on. So I you're responsible. Like you didn't take very much egging. I feel like a, like a girl is getting used. Like, I was like woke up and like, what happened? Like, why? And it's, yeah. Like a girl getting used. Yeah. That's what you do to people, Matt. Yeah, well, they bring it on themselves. <laughs> I think they, they secretly enjoy it.
Kind of screwed on that line though. Oh no! <laughs> so close! That's why you should have good ski robbers. <laughs> oh, I'm sweaty. That made me work. Yeah. I feel like I worked really hard. My arms are pumped out. I'm dripping in sweat. It's a good pull. There is no way I was going to follow your 154 track up. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got so much more traction just from that. But the snow is heavy. It's so heavy. It's over the hood in spots. Like when I slam my front down, snow comes up over the hood. Yeah. And you're like, you see it like here, I get stuck downhill. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's a wall. Yeah. You get stuck on the way down. Yeah, it sounds well, so much easier when you say it. Oh yeah, just take the ski off. It'll be easy. Yeah. And then you round the bolt off. And it gets you, a little harder. Yeah, you don't have the room for three, but... Andreas has been here two hours already. <laughs> oh, it's Did... time to go home. <laughs> it's yeah. getting dark. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's been such a good week. We've been riding until sunset for the last week. Yeah, some long spring days. Yeah. It's the best time. I'm not even a big fan of, like, cold deep powder. Neither am I. I love this more. Yeah, me you're too. Not, you're not freezing all the time. It's, it's fucking... I hate it when white powder hits me in the face. Yeah, exactly. You can't see shit. It's like... You burn all your gas right away. Yeah, it's like no hard impacts on the landings. You need some hard impacts to make you feel alive. Yeah. I don't know if he's on the road or just a bench up there, but Matt made it up. Looks like it's just a bench. Doesn't look like a road. Pulling a ski off. Pow carbs. Hello. You gotta work to ride a 146 in this. 
my arms were so pumped out at the top. I well, just couldn't get my momentum at the bottom and then I tried to cut through some branches. Totally stopped me straight up and down. I was almost stuck a lot of times. This is a cool spot. Yeah, this is gnarly. There's Ty! Yeah! I think he just flipped over. There's snow spitting out. That means he can't be too upside down. Just working her. Oh, I think he's got it now. I don't imagine you can tell from the video, but this snow is really hard to ride. Maybe you can tell, like seeing Ty just get worked. As soon as you break through this potato snow, you're just trenching out and your running boards hang up and there's like nothing you can do besides try to pin and wiggle out of it and turn down. So definitely tricky riding. Andreas lost his sled at the top of this and it ghosted down to here and stopped right where he's sitting on it. Whee! Heads up. Is that sled making it all okay? Yeah, it's good. Dude, my foot is like just very under the board that can't budge it. You're trapped. Literally trapped. All right, on three. One. One, two, two three. three. Holy Christ. One, two, three. This is wild. One, two, what do you need? Up, up more? Up and over, yeah. One, two, over the top of you? I think so. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey, buddy. <sighs> You're still trapped. Like what the actual heck? <laughs> the mountain swallowed you. Oh, dude. <laughs> Don't pull your knee out. Holy shoot. Thanks Damn, dude. <laughs> that was wild. Literally just went for a foot dab and it just went like. Anchored in. <laughs> and anchored. Whew. Thanks, bro. Yeah.
it's wild snow, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> unpredictable. It's so hard to get a flow in. <laughs> yeah. Pillow <laughs> tap! <laughs> it stops <laughs> I don't think it's stopping maybe on that pillow no it's gonna stop no it's not gonna stop oh I'll flop uh, oh. yeah <laughs> I got really bad rotation on that cool. I needed to get under it more <sighs> That was so sick! I found this little uh, whip hip jump off a spine right over there. Got some pretty sweet hits off it. Andreas got some good hits off it. I didn't record Andreas's on my phone, so I don't know if I'll have the footage. I, I filmed it for him, um, but that was a really cool session. These guys rip and it's just so cool to see guys like hit natural stuff and throw sick style and then land it clean. Gets me fired up watching it. Ty's looking at doing a 270 flip off that pillow. He's been hitting it up higher and whipping it, but that lower lip could give him enough pop for a 270. It's, I think it's definitely possible, but it's not a perfect lip. Like it doesn't really get me excited to hit it, but I think he can pull it off. He's going for it. Was it sketchy on your bale or was it a clean bale? It was hard to tell from here. Oh no, it was nothing. I just, I immediately could tell it was just, there's absolutely zero pop and zero speed. So I just got off. Your, it kind of looks like your track slid off the corner of it, but I can't really tell where you went. Yeah, before I went though, there was like, it, that pillow was extending to the left of it. I wanted to grab that and then I could get that steep tranny, right? But yeah. yeah. Big fail. That's how she goes sometimes. We got some gnarly hits off it, as far as the hips go. Fun. Yeah.
way I was feeling it now. Could have done one more. <laughs> I pulled actually went pretty good. I hear Matt trying to come up this. It's too steep. There's no way he'll make that on a 46. Andreas is hung up, but he's right there. And then Ty is in that steep section that I kind of hauled ass through and wheelied through below this bench. And I think he's stuck. Don't know for sure. I'm gonna hang out for a few minutes because I think Andreas is about to rip up this. We'll see if he makes it. If not, I'll run down there and help him. Andreas had a long pin and wiggle and then got funneled off the bench down there. So I don't think anyone else is gonna make it up and out of this one. So I'm gonna drop back down and see if anyone needs help and then probably push on to a different zone. I think this is the last of the sun we're gonna to get today because uh, everything down there is shaded and that's kind of what we're riding. <laughs>
us to head out. We have been having a lot of stuff. Well, and it's dark. 